Well, let's go to the Word of God in Matthew's Gospel, chapter 11. I want to begin reading at verse 28. Matthew's Gospel, chapter 11, verse 28. You're with me? Say amen. Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened. And I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. Amen. I want to just talk and reason with us from the subject, help for your burden. Help for your burden. You may be seated in the presence of God. Help for your, your burden. How many know that at times life can be draining? Hard work, long hours, kids, people, projects, problems, break-ins, break-outs, break-ups. Life can pull at us from all directions. Worry, stress, and busyness can overwhelm us. The pace of life can fill up schedules. Technology, I love it and hate it at the same time because it makes us too available, accessible to the world. Responsibilities of everyday life that pull at us for more attention can cause us to be weary in mind, body, and even our souls. That which is eternal, the soul is the inner man or woman. Jesus says that we're not to fear men who can only kill the body, but those who are able to kill the soul. Matthew 10. The soul can become weary, y'all. The fight, the struggle, the race can cause us to be weary. If you are truthful, you will say, that's me. Amen. Physically exhausted, mentally drained, and spiritually needy. Am I talking to anybody in here? Sometimes we can feel secure and safe. Everything is going well, going well, doing well. And then yet out of the blue, there comes a turn of events. Somebody say, hey, I need you every hour. I need him every hour. Help for your, your burden is found in these four words, four words that we're going to spend our time around. We're going to just draw a circle around it. Come, take, learn, and find. Amen. Repeat that. Come, take, Learn and find. It's in the text. When you reread that, you'll see it. Jesus gives us help for our burden. It begins with a call, y'all, or an invitation. The call, the call is to come. I know you know this. Before you can follow Christ, you must first come to Christ. And how many of you know that there are a whole lot of people who are trying to follow him, but yet they have not come to him? Do I have a witness here? It's not just a call, it's a call of hope. And whenever hope is mentioned in scripture, it's never mentioned in uncertainty. My hope is built on nothing less than Jesus' blood. And I dare not trust the sweetest but holy on Jesus. It's a call, it's a call, it's a call. It's a call of, it's a call of hope. Come unto me, all you who are weary and burdened. One translation says heavy laden. Somebody say, that's exhaust, exhaustion. And so when heavy laden, I'm exhausted. Life and, and living can wear you out, y'all. Well, the context of the text in which Jesus speaks these words, Jesus was talking about those who were weary and burdened. And the reason why they were weary and burdened because they were trying to do work, the work of the law. Amen. The Pharisees insisted that everyone strained and worked like mad to measure up to the demands of the law. Watch this. It's almost like someone working with an application that has been improved 20 years ago and they are still, amen, trying to get the job done with the old dated application. Come here. Somebody say, amen, you're working too hard. I don't know who I'm talking to. You're working too hard. You're working too hard. Grace was talking in the text, but wasn't nobody listening. Working without Christ Amen. Uh, Can, not can, will cause frustration. (laughs) Do I have a witness here? I said working without Christ will cause frustration. 
Listen, he was talking to a group of people who were trying to handle some things they couldn't handle without him. Come here. How many of you know that there are some things in, the li in life you can't handle without him? That's a burden. In spite of all of our efforts, we can't get things right without him. They were working to get God's attention. Watch this. We work because God got our attention. <laughs> Help me somebody. Amen. I came to Jesus as I was weary, wounded, and I founded him a, and he's made me. I came to him. It's a call. It's an invitation. It's a call of hope. The text says, come unto me. Notice what it says. Then it says, all. Let the church say all. All of you. I'm so glad. All. All of you. If you are under stress. Tension, fear, discouragement. Aren't you glad he didn't qualify who could come? Amen. All who are going through, all who are, are burdened. Y'all didn't get this. Amen. He didn't qualify the all. Whoever you are, wherever you are, whatever you're going through, all of your mistakes and your problems. Amen. All. Everybody got them. I said everybody got them. What's that, Pastor Jones? Problems. I said all. Everybody got them. Everybody got them. And so this is an incentive, an incentive. Amen. The kindness of the Lord. He says all of us. I'm glad about that. He goes on and talks about something else. He says, come unto me, all of you, amen, who are, are, are weary and burdened. And he says, and I will give you rest. That's a kind incentive on the part of the Lord. I'll give you rest. Somebody say rest. Rest. When faced with the options of resting sometimes, we often feel la almost lazy. Amen. And I've come out to tell somebody that when God calls you to rest, don't you get caught up. Amen. And feel as though that it's being lazy when God wants you to rest because he wants you to rest so that you don't burn up and burn out. Do I have a witness here? Church, there's always tension. There's always tension between busyness and rest. I said there's always tension between busyness and rest. There are some people who just want to be busy. They're just busy bodies. Do I have a witness here? There's tension between rest and, and busyness. Like it was in the text with, between Mary and Martha, those two sisters. Amen. Martha was working at being busy and complaining. Amen. Mary was working at the feet of Jesus. Do I have a witness here? Amen. As how many of you know that sometimes when you come to the house of God, your, your work can be in your praise. You may not be just busy up and down the aisles doing some other things, but your work might be in the fact that I'm going to praise him. I'm going to be at his feet. I'm going to stand and lift up holy hands to a holy God because of what he has done for me. Somebody say, oh, you ought to work at praising him. One of the things that my pastor taught us when we were, amen, in Mount Zion Church in Los Angeles, California, he taught us on Saturday nights, you ought to shut down early. He said, shut down early. Even if you don't have your lesson, even if there's some things that's going on in your life, shut down early and rest your body. He said, why? Because God deserves a rested body on Sunday morning. And the reason why some people don't worship and praise him, because you wore out because of Saturday and Friday. But on Sunday morning, you ought to be have him, give him a rested body so you can lift up holy hands unto a holy God. Do I have a witness here? Amen. I'll give you rest. I'll, I'll, I'll give you rest. I'll give, I'll give you rest. Rest. Stephen Hurd helps us out. Stephen says, when my heart is overwhelmed, amen, I, I pray, Lord, lead me to the rock. Lead me to the rock that's higher than, than I. Oh, oh, Lord, yes, when my heart is overwhelmed, I'm asking, lead me to the rock. Lead me to the rock that's higher than I. Oh, Lord, when the weight of this world, whole world tries to slay me, a strong tower from the enemy, you will be for me. So I need to find this place. Yes, this special place. I'm assured of your embrace. The place I call my sanctuary. There you are. Lead me to the rock. Lead me to the rock. You are my firm foundation, my salvation, my solid rock. I'll give you rest. Not rest, amen, not rest from work, but rest in work. 
not rest in inactivity, but the harmonious working of the heart, the imagination and consciousness of, of an individual. Listen to the rendering even of Isaiah chapter 40, verse 29, where, where, where the writer talks about us, amen, gives us fresh strength. He gives fresh strength to one writer calls it to dropouts. But even young people tire and drop out. Young folks in the prime stumble and fall. But those who wait on God get fresh strength. Somebody say fresh strength. I think I heard that earlier. Get fresh strength. Amen. Fresh strength. Those who wait on the Lord, they spread their wings and they soar like eagles. They run and they don't get tired. They walk and they don't lag behind. The promise is for new strength. Somebody, somebody shout new strength. Anybody here need new strength? You've been beat up one side, down the other, got burdens. Do I have a way? You need some new strength so that you can keep on keeping on. Rest. Rest. To do what? Rest. Amen. To refocus. Somebody say refocus. Rest to recharge. Rest to reevaluate. Rest to restart. Rest to reconsider. Rest to recommit. And I will give you rest Jesus came to lift our burdens it's a call it's a call come it's a call it's an invitation it's a call of hope take it's a fantastic offer here it is there are two parts to the text the first part to the text Jesus calls us amen who are weary and burdened to come to him and find a rest the second amen part of the text he calls us to take up on ourselves his yoke I love this part. Here it is. Yoke. Yoke. It's a picture, y'all. It's a picture and an image of a yoke, which is a harness, a piece of gear that is placed on two animals so that they can harmoniously and simultaneously carry and pull the workload. Yeah, yeah. Amen. When my daddy used to preach this, this text, he would talk about it. He would talk about his days in Arkansas. He'd be preaching where he grew up on that farm in Hope, Arkansas, and how they would put two amen animals together but watch this they wouldn't put two strong mules together they wouldn't put two weak mules together they would take one strong and one weak and then put them together do i have a witness here amen and the strong would compensate for the weak y'all come here for a second i said the strong would compensate for the weak jesus was telling them if you hook up with me do i have a witness here if you hook up with me, I'm strong, but you're weak. Amen. Amen. You can plow through some things with ease if you hook up with me. Yoke is a metaphor for submission. If you hook up with me, amen, quit trying to do things on your own. You've got to submit unto the Lord. You ain't that big. You ain't that bad. You don't know that much. Do I have a witness here? But when you hook up with him, the strong and the weak together, I'll help you pull the load. Do a, hey, say amen. The yoke, the yoke, the yokes, watch this. The yoke speaks of team concept. It's a team concept. Yoke together. And that made them a team. They, they didn't work independently. They worked together. Let the church say together. together. Amen. And all Jesus is trying to tell them that I want to be your yoke mate. And together we can pull the load. Is there anybody here that have a load, amen, that you're trying to pull all by yourself? Doesn't seem like you can make it. Nothing is happening, amen. Doors are not being opened, but I've come by to tell you. He says, come unto me, all you are weary and lady, and I'll give you rest. He says, take my yoke upon you. Hook up with me, and we can pull the load together. You've got some problems with some children. Hook up with him. He can pull the load with you. you got problems on your job. Hook up with him. He'll help He'll pull the load with you. Do I have a witness here? Your mind, amen, is all frazzled and, and messed up. Hook up with him, amen. How many of you know he'll regulate your mind? I wish I had two or three witnesses up in here that recognize and understand when you hook up with him, he'll help you pull your, your load. Jesus urges us to take his yoke upon ourselves. And the yoke that Jesus offers is not the kind that is burdensome and heavy. It won't chaff, chaff you or it won't rub you. Amen. But it's a yoke of love. Watch this. Watch this. It says, come, come, come. It's a call. It's an invitation. It's a call of hope. Amen. Come, take, 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 take. There it is. Amen. Come, take. 
take. It's a fantastic offer. Come take. And then he says, learn. Here it is. It's, it's, it's what the yoke teaches. It says, for I am gentle and humble in heart. And you'll find rest for your souls. Uh, watch this here. Learn with Jesus. It's about partnership. It's about partnership and it's about relationship, y'all. It's about fellowship with him. The opportunity to learn from him. He's saying, I'm strong. Watch this. I'm strong, but I'm gentle. You see that in the text? I'm strong, but I'm humble. I want to tell somebody, if you've got it going on, and you've got strength in one area, and you're working with others that may not have as much strength that you have or know-how that you have, use your strength, but be gentle. Use your strength, but be humble. Do I have a witness here? Part of the tension in the church is that we got a whole lot of strong folks, but they're not gentle or humble. Help me somebody. Help, help, help me somebody. And so the yoke teaches us, amen, just because you got it going on. Hey, help me. Amen. Don't, don't, don't flex and, and forget about from where you came from. That You have always been where you are. You have always been on top. So be gentle and be, be humble. Do I have a witness here? Well, I've got to move on. I've got another sermon to preach. It could be the strength of of two pulling a load it could be the strength of two pulling a load pastor it, it could be the strength like preacher and preacher it could be the strength like deacons and deacons and singer and sing do i have a witness <laughs> amen amen help me somebody bear Bryan says it this way he says amen i'm just a, a plow hand from arkansas but i have learned how to hold a team together how to lift some men up how to calm down others until finally they got one heartbeat together a team there's just three things i i'll ever say to them if everything goes bad i did it if everything goes semi good then we did it if everything or anything goes real good then you did it <laughs> i wish i had a witness that you went over somebody's head here bear Bryan says that's all it takes to get people to win football games you've got to recognize to let them know amen he ain't heavy he's my brother and that we're here to help share the load with one and other well let me close this thing out then he says learn learn again again we hear jesus giving amen rest to people in all kinds of trouble he has power and the authority to say to all of us in any situation it doesn't matter how utterly hopeless you might be we think that situation appears amen to be the hopeless he says come unto me and I'll give you rest I'll give you rest he says take my yoke upon you and learn of me amen and then he says come take learn and then he says find here it is rest for your souls what are you gonna find the rest for your soul for my yoke is easy and my is help me close this thing out and as we step into another week y'all as one person said lying in a hospital I couldn't see any sense in my illness in fact I was angry at God I was angry at the doctors I was angry at everyone but I saw God use my burden I saw God use my burden I saw God use my problem I saw God use my law my lost amen to help lift up the burdens of others come here somebody do i have a witness here so i've come out to tell somebody don't you have a pity party sitting on the curb of life because whatever burden that you are bearing understand god is using that burden so that you can be a blessing to somebody else it might help someone else along the way do i have a witness stop talking about why me well why not you amen god has put so much in you that he wants to now amen highlight you and showcase you and let the world know they didn't come through what they came through by themselves but they came through because they yoked up with me and their burden is now going to be a blessing to somebody else help me close this thing and so here it is Preacher was busy. Preacher was busy in his study while his little boy looked at a book of pictures, amen, by the fireside. 
He suddenly wanted a large book and he had, that he had left upstairs and he asked his boy to go get it. The boy, amen, the boy uh, 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 went away, went to go get it. He was away for a long time and after a while the father heard the sound of sobbing on the stairs. He went out and at the top of the staircase he saw his son crying bitterly with the large book, amen, he had tried to lift and carry, lying at his feet. He says, oh daddy, he, as he was crying, I can't carry it. It's too heavy for me. In a moment, the father was up the stairs, stooped down, took up both the book and the boy in his strong arms and carried them both to the room below, picked up the boy and the burden. Amen. And that is how God deals with his children. Do I have a witness here? Come here. Come here. I don't know who you are. I don't know who you are, but that's what God will do. He'll pick up you and your burden at the same time. Somebody here can shout hallelujah because he's done that for you recently. He'll pick up you and your burden. Well, I know it's communion Sunday. Thank God for communion. Amen. How many of you know that that's what God did on Calvary's mountain? I said, God, amen, picked up his boy and his burden. The burden that he had on his shoulder. That old cross he had on his shoulder and marched him up Gotha Hill. Do I have a witness? Can't you see God on Calvary's hill? Amen. With his son, Jesus, picking up his boy and his burden. Hallelujah, Jesus. Bible says, and he died. He dropped his head in the locks of his shoulders and gave up the ghost. Amen. They took him down and put him in a borrowed man's tomb. And the Bible says that same God, amen, that took up his boy and his burden, dispatched an angel from heaven and rolled the stone away. Do I have a witness? Is there anybody here that know he'll pick up your, amen, you and your burden? Oh, hallelujah. And I come by to tell you that's why he got up out of the grave so that he could tell you just like his father did for him he's doing now for you he's picking you up and your burden somebody's looking at me right now you don't know how you got here this morning because of the weight and the burden of life that was on you you're wondering how I even got up this morning how I got in my car and turned over the ignition and made my way down the road but I've come by to tell you that God is able to pick you up and your burden. Do I have a witness? Yes. Goodbye, y'all. Praise God from whom all blessings found. I'm glad that God is still picking up me and my burdens. He'll bring you from a mighty long way. Hallelujah, Jesus. Yes. Yes. Is he all right? He'll bless your life. He'll make a way out of no way. Yes, he will. He'll turn a good day, a bad day into a good day. Yes, he will. He'll open doors that no man can close. Yes, he will. He'll pick you up and turn you around. Yes, he will. He'll wipe tears from your eyes. Yes, he will. He'll make your enemies your footstool. Yes, he will. He'll open doors that no man can close. Yes, he will. Is there anybody here that know that God will? Yes, he will. I'm glad that he's still a burden bearer. I'm glad that he's still a heavy load sharer. I'm glad that he's still picking me up. Somebody shout hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. I got to leave you now. My soul is about to get happy because you don't know like I know what the Lord has done for me. Hallelujah, Jesus. Yes. Yes, he has. He's brought me from a mighty long way. Yes. 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 Somebody shout hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. 
Yes, 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 yes. Hey, hey man, I come by to tell him, right on King Jesus, right on conquering King, do what you do best. Let the world know that you're still God and you've got all power in your hand. Let the world know I'm your child. Do I have a witness? You've been covered by his blood. Let the world know. Can't nobody. Nobody, 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 nobody. I know it's all right. I know it's all right. I tried the man. I know it's all right. Yes, he walks with me. He talks with me. He tells me I'm his very own. And the joy, joy. Hey God, hey God, God, God. Running in my feet, joy. Clapping in my hands, joy. Tears in my eyes, joy. Arms folded, joy. Yes! I know it's all right. I didn't mean to go here. But I look back over my life. And I see what the Lord has done for me. See how far he's brought me. <laughs> see how he keeps on making my enemies. Amen. Wonder how he made it. See how God keeps on dealing with my naysay. Those who said I wouldn't make it. If they can look at me now. When they look at what God has done. What a wonder in my soul. My God is able to to do anything with anybody at any time in any season God will I said God will won't he do it won't he do it won't he won't he
he done for me when I think about Jesus I set me free I can dance 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 all night oh when I think about Jesus what he's done for me when I think about Jesus I set me free I can dance 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 all night all night all night all night I can dance all night I can pray all night so I know it's eight o'clock service and they say y'all don't get down like this but I dare you to make the people a lie and tell them I know how to praise my God can we just all stand on our feet together in one accord because I want to see what the redeemed of the Lord look like together if you plan on going to heaven you might as well start practicing right now anyway everybody clap those hands come on and praise his name Come on, we've been told that we can take our burdens to the Lord and we can leave them there. Come on, and if you got to carry a burden, we got some help that'll take the load for us. Hallelujah. Oh, when I think about Jesus, what he's done for me, when I think about Jesus, I set me free. I can dance, 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 dance all night. one more time I want to see some dancing in this sanctuary hallelujah come on when I think about Jesus what he's done for me when I think about Jesus I set me free I 